All right, this video, I'm gonna show you real quick, um, rebuilding a Gould J5S shallow well pump. This is the second time I've taken it apart. It wasn't that long ago I took it apart and come to find out there was really nothing wrong with it. And now I went and broke it. So I had to actually fix something. Um, I got a lot of silt here in Alaska and you can see the grooves on this here. It's more than a groove. You can see it's almost like tapered. It's higher at this point and on the inside. This should be flat, flat or flush the whole way like the new one that I put on completely, you know, one piece. So um, silt got in there and spun up and of course tore it up and then you can see around the edges here too, it's a little torn up. But um, these pumps are actually usually pretty pretty good to go but um one thing that somebody was saying is you had to take the end off to, to put on a 716 or something like that to hold the end you don't have to do that from some other videos you find this one spot here this is just a uh, a uh, chainsaw sharpening blade sharpener something small and skinny put it in there until you hit the shaft hard to do one-handed throw it in there far enough and you see that kind of locked it up and then you just with your hand turn left lefty loosey ready tidy on this one it's not reverse thread and that's it and this whole thing can just kind of spin off when you're rebuilding it um, as I found out last time it is wise to change these spring little cheap springs and there's a pump seal uh, in the back there um, primary seal definitely worth changing those out this one was just replaced and nothing got past this impeller so i'm going to put it on and i'm going to tighten it down nice and good hand tight and then pull my little aid out um, and then the other thing is these these pieces now the guys at uh ferguson where i got my parts from said that they never bother when they're rebuilding these putting this black piece actually between the two most of them say that they just put it on top right here and when the pressure first kicks on it sucks it between the two i just don't trust that and i'm not sure because it was actually when we took it apart it was not sitting between the two it was sitting on the other side or on this side sitting on top like when it had been rebuilt i partially rebuilt it and then i took it in because i thought it was still the pump that was causing issues it was actually my well and the guys at a local place rebuilt it and said your pump's good to go nothing was wrong so just i'd put that inside it like literally sandwiches between the two sides it's one piece in the middle and then the most important part from my understanding is that this is at your 12 o'clock position top of the pump where you're out is on a gold jade 5s um, otherwise you will have problems so otherwise it just sits in here take the two halves you put them together you know I put my bolts in here so I didn't lose them but take those out of course and then snug them all up make sure you kind of snug them there's not necessarily I don't know if there's a pattern but tighten 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 you know in a star pattern and then you should be good to go but hopefully nobody else has to go through the same crap I did with this and silt so all right catch you guys later oh wait one more thing because I'm an idiot this actually goes back on here, the cover. And you can only put it on one way. There is a way, Ooh, where is it at? It's, it's keyed. But I'd make sure that this section here isn't all torn up or anything. There's one little marring on mine. It's hard to see, but it's not. You can't feel it with your finger now, so it's fine. It's good to go. But this actually directs and creates all your, helps create all your pressure too with the impeller. Otherwise you'd have nothing. And there's four bolts on a Gould J5S. The bigger, J10S I think only has three because I was given the wrong um, cover last time but otherwise this portion here when put on front actually sits in here so you want to make sure those all marry up nice and tight otherwise you can get silt past it which is kind of what I think happened because I had so much silt sitting on the outside and in between and I think this seal wasn't put on properly um, but anyway all right best of luck to you guys